Assaults are increasing nationwide, and according to the Bureau of Justice, less than half are reported. Renee Cooper sat down with a victim of a violent crime that took place in Mandan just over a month ago. She joins us now to share her story and tell us what resources are available for victims in North Dakota. Renee, good evening. We often follow what happens to the perpetrator, but seldom do we hear about the victim's story in the wake of a crime. I spoke with Deputy Chief Lori Fleeton here at the Mandan Police Department, who told me victims are provided with a victim's advocate from the state's attorney's office following any type of assault. But it's really up to the victim to follow up for assistance. Things turned upside down for Stephanie Ashley after she, her 20 year old son and their, her 16 year old daughter were stabbed in their home. The day after the attack, Ashley was given an eviction notice. She's now living at the Baymont Inn with her kids until they can afford a more permanent solution. Ashley says she has received some assistance by reaching out to the Abused Adult Resource Center. The North Dakota Department of Corrections does allow for crime victims compensation, especially in cases like Ashley, who have undergone multiple surgeries for their injuries. The reality of it is, is we don't have much money right now, you know, and if it wasn't for the people that were helping us, we wouldn't even be here. We'd probably be sleeping in our van. I also spoke with the victim services coordinator with the AARC, who told me they helped about 1,400 new victims last year, and 50% of people living in their shelters are Native American. If you are the victim of violence or find yourself in an unsafe living environment, call the Abused Adult Resource Center's crisis line at 1-866-341-7009. The coordinator told me they'll make room on the floor if they need to. Chad?